Hey there guys, welcome to the homestead. I'm here with the puppies and we're excited. We want to make some Asian noodles for dinner. I want to make Asian noodles for dinner. The dogs already ate. Um, but this is bullshit, man. Look at this. I got these spicy Mongolian Asian noodle bowls, all right? But then I'm looking at how to cook it and they got nothing but microwave instructions. That's some bullshit. What I'm gonna do is show you guys how to take microwave bullshit instructions and microwave bullshit food and cook it without a microwave because I don't even own a microwave. Okay, if I get one of those things, I disassemble it like a freaking bomb in my cupboard. There's a steamer. That's the closest thing I have to a microwave, but that's not even what I'm going to use. I'm just going to use a simple pan. All right, so like, here's what the, the microwave instructions say. You empty the contents noodles into a bowl, this bowl right here, and uh, pour the sauce over the noodles. Add two tablespoons of water, which isn't a whole lot. So they're basically steam cooking it. This is the same process that I use to heat up leftover spaghetti or even macaroni and cheese and you know you can use a clean pan i'm only using this one because it's got uh onion flavored olive oil in it and i just want that flavor in my food and it's only been there for a day so chill throw that away you're not gonna need it see how it's all clumpy one thing you can do is get a colander or a strainer and run some hot water over this, and that'll break it up. So that's something I'm gonna do real quick. Oh shit! Did I really just do that? I totally just did that. I just broke my fucking coffee pot. Check it out. Oh no! What am I gonna put my coffee in tomorrow? I guess I'll just have to leave it in the fucking in the fucking pot. Pour the sauce on there. Calls for two tablespoons of water. Just not a whole lot of water. Approximately two to four tablespoons. I'm not gonna really, you know, go all out. I'm gonna put my two in there. Whatever, whatever it came out to, it really doesn't matter. Two to four tablespoons of water is fine. And uh, you don't have to do this step, but I'm gonna add some liquid aminos just to make it a little bit more zesty. And then fry it up, turn it up. So at this point, I'm gonna just basically take this lid, cover this up. So this is going to boil here. Once it's boiling, which it is, stir it up. See, just because there's microwave instructions and no stovetop instructions doesn't mean you can't cook it on a stovetop. Turn my heat down. Down, down low, down low. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's the weird thing about propane. If you don't have a good regulator, it's really hard to make it uh, cook right. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I'm just going to let it simmer here on low for a little bit. So there you go. I mean, non-irradiated pasta that was intended for irradiation. Fuck those microwaves. You don't need that bullshit radiation in your life. It destroys your food. It destroys you. Cook your shit naturally. With real heat. Not fucking microwave energy. Nuke your shit. You do know how that works, right? How microwaves heat your food. They heat it molecularly. Your food has a great deal of water in it. And it's the water that transfers the heat. 
the water creates the heat with friction. The microwaves cause the water molecules to vibrate. That vibration creates heat at a molecular level and it comes out of the water. And then, you know, the heat transfers through the water into the medium. That's why you can heat a dry plate if it's completely dry and there's no moisture in the air or anything like that or in the plate, um, it's not going to get hot in the microwave. But if you have a plate of spaghetti or food on it that has wet food and water, moisture, whatever, or even if it's just a wet, steamy plate off out, you know, out of the kitchen sink, it's going to get hot, real hot. And there we go. It works. Sweet. And then for easy cleanup, just rinse it all off. Yep. So that's how you do stovetop pasta cooking. You don't have to microwave your pasta. You just don't, and you shouldn't. You could just add a little bit of water, heat it up in a saucepan, and uh, it'll taste way better. And it won't have that funky, rubbery texture that microwave ovens give food. So, if you like my little cooking video, leave me a comment, give me a like, whatever. And uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.